Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Haki, and today I'm going to be talking about Ohio law. Just feel the weight of that. Ohio law. Yeah, I know I've been talking a lot about the Midwest in a subjective way, expressing thoughts and opinions about what it's like living in the region or what it means to live in the region. But now it's time to get a little bit more concrete. I want this channel to be a resource for Midwesterners who really want to understand this land, its communities, and its systems. All right, so what is law? It's such a nebulous term. For me, when I think about the law, I think of punishments that occur if I break certain rules, right? Those punishments could be like fines or being thrown into jail. I also think about how I never explicitly agreed to these rules. I was kind of just born into the system. But I do assume that most of these rules have been made with my well-being in mind and the well-being of all the people within the jurisdiction of those laws. But in the end, the law, the quote unquote law, is multiple documents that regulate the actions of the members of a particular country, state, city, or county, right? And it goes without saying that said documents are acknowledged and recognized by those members. In the US, we have several levels, do, 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 levels to these documents, right? I'm gonna present it simply. At the top, we have the US Constitution. Every law, federally, every law in the states has to abide by the US Constitution and what is said and written in the US Constitution. Here, let me show you it. So, yep, here it is. This is the Constitution of the United States. I found a bunch of .gov websites that have all these documents. And yeah, so this is the Constitution. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, bum, 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 bum. And we have the whole Constitution right here. Every law has to abide by this. But the Constitution has amendments. You might have heard of the Bill of Rights, right? Here's the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, at the end of the day, amounts to 10 amendments, such as the right to free speech, which is the first one, and right to bear arms, the second one. You've heard of these. And this same website, archives.gov, has the other amendments, all the way up to Amendment 27. At the end of the day, the Constitution is the Constitution plus the amendments, because the amendments are amending the Constitution. So that's at the top, the US Constitution and amendments. Next up, we have the United States Code, which is the list of laws for the country. This is the list of laws for the country, all the laws of the country. And here I am, you know, there's a ton of them. Here are the 54, titles and in each title we have multiple things being written right customs duties probably about trade and stuff we have something specific to uruguay's round trade agreements and i might have pronounced uruguay wrong Ugh, sorry um all right so there's that the u.s code all these laws the u.s code is the accumulation culmination of all the bills being passed in Congress. So, you know, you hear about bills being passed in Congress all the time and you know how the president is allowed to like veto any bill or act. I got to get that terminology more straight out of my own head as well. Uh, yeah, those bills get passed and usually a bill is amending or adding on to this list of laws. Right, it will say, oh, specifically for this section of this title, we're changing this sentence, right? That's what the bill will say. So that's the US code, the list of laws for the US. Next down, we have the states. The states have their own constitutions, right? And it's kind of the same as for the country. All the laws within the state have to abide by that constitution. It's kind of like inception, right? The country has a constitution, the country has a code. Each state has a constitution, 
and each state has a code. In the case of Ohio, here we go, we have the Ohio Revised Code. It's all right here. It's a little bit smaller, thankfully, than the US Code. And see, we have general provisions in here. It defines a bunch of terms that are gonna be used later on in the code. And these are all the list of laws for Ohio. The same thing applies for other states. For example, in Wisconsin, they're called different things though in the different states. In Wisconsin, we have the Wisconsin Statutes and Annotations, which is the equivalent to the, the Ohio Revised Code, right? And this is a bunch of list. This is a bunch of laws for Wisconsin. Again, Ohio Revised Code. If we go back to here, let's let's just click on some random stuff. So we have the labor and industry title, and then there's minimum fair wage standards, and you know that's the minimum wage law right here. Okay, for Ohio specifically. Of course, there could be a federal law that specifies the parameters for state minimum wage laws, right? Anyway, after the state codes, in Ohio, it's called the Ohio Revised, Revised Code. In Wisconsin, it's called the Wisconsin Statutes and Annotations. Again, those are just like the US Code in that the legislatures of each state has to pass these bills, and the bills specify amendments and additions to their list of laws, their codes, right? In Ohio, we have the Ohio General Assembly, which emulates Congress with a 99 member House of Representatives and a 33 member Ohio Senate. In the Ohio Revised Code, actually, if you go to the Ohio Administrative Code, which is specific to specifying all the different positions in the government. I'm not sure Wisconsin, I'm not sure if every state has an equivalent. I think that some states might have the positions lined up in and the, all the laws lined up in one document. So carrying on now, we finally have the county and city ordinances. Not every county has ordinances or laws, but cities will probably, but you know, sometimes counties and cities are the same thing or the same geographical entity. So it seems like this am legal American legal publishing corporation has the database for all the laws when it comes to counties and cities in their database. So here we are, we can go to Ohio, but this is as local as we get, right? And like I said before, some counties don't have codes, but here we can go to a place like, let's go to Youngstown. Here we have a bunch of sections specifying like traffic code, the administrative code, which will specify the positions of the government, the city government. And at the end of the day, these codes will be more like, you know, specifying how parades are done and what you can and can't do for a parade or for parking or what else do we have here? Business regulation code, how home sales work in the city, stuff like that. That's as local as we get. And those are the laws. And anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Just kind of show you where these documents are and what we're actually living by when we say living by the law or what the law of the land is. This is what it is. It's these documents and PDFs on the internet that we can now easily access. Not sure how it worked back in the day, but you probably had to, I think Wikipedia actually mentions you had to specify a publication of this many public documents that are available to the public. But now it's all on the internet. So that's super awesome. You can just look at stuff. And just to end this video, I wanted to kind of look at some some laws. You know, you can like type in Google, what are some weird laws? And you'll get some weird laws. And 
one law that I did find, I was trying to verify some of these weird laws of Ohio. It looks like every list of weird laws in Ohio includes the, you cannot have more than five women living in one house. I couldn't actually find that anywhere in the, in the Ohio revised code, but I could find one that I found in, uh, oh yeah, it was in Youngstown. So it's illegal to not have sufficient gas in your car. And when I say, when it says, okay, sufficient fuel required in, con in congested districts. So in these certain districts, if you do not have enough fuel to leave the district, that's legal. In, in your car. So if you're running on low fuel, that's illegal. That is kind of weird. And that's actually a law right here for Youngstown. And I am probably going to make a video where I try and find the actual laws for a lot of these weird laws. Like it's also supposedly dr um, illegal to fish while you're drunk. So I want to add a side note. Of course, there's so much more to law than what I've outlined today. There's law that governs how contracts work stuff like that how you can sue each other or sue entities there's regulations that are specifically created by certain departments within the state or the the federal government such as like the department of natural resources will create regulations and you might not find those laws within the u.s code but they're still to be followed by or you will have a penalty of some kind there's also all the court cases that have happened within your state or within the country that amounts to what is called common law, right? But anyway, thank you so much for listening. I hope this helped you, especially if you live in Ohio. You can just click on these links and look at the laws that are governing you at this moment, you know, and see if you are okay with that see if that's kind of cool to see how society works or quote unquote has been molded to work by your government by your agreement to let this government govern you you know yeah yeah it's exciting stuff so if you're interested in learning more about ohio law and the systems of the of Ohio in the Midwest, I, I might branch out and do something similar to this for Wisconsin because I also have close ties to Wisconsin, having lived there for a few years. But yeah, if you want to see more content like this, please give this video a like, please subscribe to the channel. I plan to cover a lot about the Midwest. Again, I want this channel to be a resource for Midwesterners to really be able to understand more and more about this region, about their states, about this land. So thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.